good. Okay, good. So uh, I was thinking more of a uh, a practical session, but just to have a discussion on it. I have also prepared a short um, a short PowerPoint slides, uh, Google slides. So let's go through that one. Uh, okay, just sharing. Yeah. Can you see my screen? Okay, good. Thank you. Um, so, so this session is about um, just creating using AI to create job descriptions. Um, so let's just have an introduction here and we can see how we can do it by using ChatGPT and we'll be seeing how we can actually craft a better prompt every time to give us a better result. Yeah, so if you have any questions, just uh, just raise your hands or just open your mic and speak. Okay, so uh, the first thing is uh, why would you use AI to create uh, job descriptions, right? So the first thing is it's very easy. You, you can do it in seconds or minutes. Uh, you increase your efficiency. It reduces the human bias uh, and it uh, gives us a, cost, a consistent criteria every time, uh, improved accuracy and better candidate experience. So uh, just uh, so this is just our introduction. So, uh, what is the importance of uh, the importance of job descriptions? So it uh, it ha outlines <coughs> the responsibilities, requirements, and expectations by the uh, employer that they have for a specific role. So the most important thing that uh, we are looking for when we are uh, creating a job description or creating a job post and Posting it is to attract the right candidates, right? So we have to attract the right candidates, the right candidates with the right uh, amount of experience, the right amount of uh, knowledge, and so on and so on. So it sets a clear expectations. It can clearly co communicate our expectations with our candidates. Uh, it aids in the uh, performance evaluation because once uh, we post the evaluate the uh, job description and people apply, we can use the job descriptions as evaluation uh, criteria. And it uh, gives us a legal and compliance benefit, which means uh, if someone lied and uh, got the job and uh, they actually failed to comply, we can use uh, this uh, for both practice actually. So if for the candidate or for the employee, if uh, the job that they are currently working on is not related to what the job posting said, they can use uh, that uh, job description or job posting in order to have a legal uh, upper hand. So uh, the challenge in traditional uh, way of creating a job description is, the first thing is it's time consuming uh, inconsistent format and quality, uh, difficulty in keeping uh, descriptions up to date and bias and subjectivity, uh, being subjective. So in some com companies, uh, we do see this biasness because they would actually craft the job description to match a specific person that they already have in mind. It could be a relative, it could be someone they know, it could be a friend or so on and so on. So uh, by using AI, we can actually reduce this biasness. So the benefits of using AI, uh, again, are effective efficiency, consistency, accuracy, and customization. Um, so we have actually seen this on the first slide, but the steps that we have, so this is just a recommendation. So uh, some of the steps are, uh, identify the role. So we have already identified the role for this project, uh, select the AI tool. So for this project, or, uh, at least for this 
uh, tutorial session, we're going to be using ChatGPT, uh, specifically uh, the 4.0 version, uh, since it's free for, uh, yeah, it's free for all. Uh, input data, so we enter the information such as just job title, the responsibility, the qualification, and so on and so on. And uh, uh, ask the AI to join the descriptions, then preview it. Always, we have to always preview what we have already created, we have just created. And when we preview, we can just go back to the prompt and edit it to give us a better prompt. So that's what the, the customization is there for. And publish and updates. So the basic practices that you have to follow or that are customary to follow include clarity. So when uh, we are trying to create a job description, make sure that it's clear and concise and to the point, and uh, make sure that it's relevant. So it's tailored, uh, the, the description is tailored to attract the right candidates. So as we have said earlier, the primary goal of uh, creating a job description is to attract the right kind of candidates and get the right employee that we are looking for. Uh, and inclusivity, so make sure to use inclusive language to appeal to the diverse pool of applicants. So uh, if, uh, if the job position is not limited by gender, when you are posting, it's better to include both uh, genders in the job post when naming the subject or uh, just avoiding na naming just uh, by using one gender pronouns. So that's what inclusivity means. Uh, not for only gender, uh, also for the race, uh, color, and so on and so on. And regular updates. So continuously update the description based on the feedback and the change uh, needs. Um, so yeah, so that's basically yeah, the introduction. So I didn't look for a, uh, like have a much time for in the introduction. So uh, shall we go to the um, practice or uh, is there any questions? Are there any questions? Okay, okay. Um, let me share my whole screen. Yep. Okay, can you see my screen? Can you see my screen? Yes. Are this someone? No, what I'm still seeing is any questions. That's what I'm still seeing. Any. Okay, um, let me just share it again. I think there's some problem. Yeah. Yeah, you you you, you say you, you, you display any question I and I wanted to ask question. Yes. Yes, of course. Can I go on? Of course. Yeah, please ask. Can I go on? All right. Please. Yes, yeah, yes, please ask. Yes. Okay. Okay, please. I want to ask if uh, besides chat GPT, is there any other AI tools we can use as regard the uh, exercise? Can we use cloud? Oh, yes, of course, of course. You, you, you're going to use any type of uh, AI tool that you have, you are actually uh, comfortable using. We're just using the, this one because it's pre level level and yeah. But uh, cloud is actually uh, in some parts better than OpenAI, so yeah. Is so that cloud is better than what? Cloud is in some parts uh, better than ChatGPT. So, uh, if you feel comfortable using cloud, you can. But <clears throat> since uh, cloud is very li li uh, limited uh, for mm -hmm. some countries, uh, mm -hmm. that's why we're not using it right now uh, for the sessions, because you cannot mm -hmm. use it in, uh, I believe, uh, most countries in Africa. So it's not okay. available for everyone right now. Yeah, so that's why we are using ChatGPT. But if you are 
uh, if you can uh, use uh, if you can use cloud you can if you are comfortable using cloud you are not li limited to using uh, GPT. okay 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 um, so Isaac said can you please talk a little about update really uh, which updates Isaac can you be specific oh the last part of the PowerPoint presentation. Okay, I'll uh, talk about that one. Uh, and what is the other AI to mention this? So we were talking about cloud, cloud AI. Yeah. So this is cloud AI. So this is cloud AI, but um, it's not. Uh, supported for many regions by now so that's why we are not uh, using it for uh, the sessions that we are having so here if you can see uh, it's li listed and if you uh, find your country here yeah you can use it okay um and the last part of the slide uh, so it wasn't about updates, but it was about best practices uh, for AI enhanced job descriptions. So the first thing is clarity. The job description should be clear and concise. Okay, so here the regular updates. Okay, now I get it. Um, so after when you uh, created the first uh, job de description, it might not be the first, the, the perfect one, right? So you will show the department heads and so on and so on and when they give you feedback, you have to update it regularly till you get the uh, the one or the perfect uh, job description that the department is looking for. So now, since you are working uh, as an operations manager, you might not have uh, all the knowledge that is necessary in order to create uh, the job de descriptions for all the departments. So what we are trying to do is just trying to iterate, right? So when you are trying to update, you might not get the perfect uh, or the the one that the job description that they want. So you might need to iterate through it. So that's what the update means. Is that clear? Uh, I, I think midday. Oh, uh, I think it was. Uh, Isaac. I didn't yeah. ask that question, but it's clear. Thank yes. you. Yes. Uh, so, did I answer your question, Midi? Oh, yes, you did. You did. Thank you. Thank okay. you. So, um, let's get right to it then. So, that GPT from OpenAI. And here we have uh, the chat GPT, um, let's say, uh, I think this one is, so I have two accounts. So yeah, so this one is the regular account. So I, uh, I am thinking that most of uh, you are don't, don't have the premium account and we don't require you to have the premium account. So we're gonna do it with this one. Yeah, so I was thinking of using the same prompt that uh, we have already uh, gave you on the challenge document in order to create, a, um, let's say, a job description for the uh, finance department. Okay, so so the first thing that I'm going to do is just copy this one. So create a comprehensive uh, job description for a position within a specific department of the company. The job description should include the phones here, sections, and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. So let's use this prompt. Uh, yeah. So I'm just going to copy it. And before I paste it, um, let me write here. So I want you. Mm 
let's say so here we already have before i copy and paste it um so uh, the finance department sorry for the finance Can you start by saying I to the chat GPT? Yes, yes. yes. You, you need to greet him first of all. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. When I yeah. start, I greet him first. How are you? Are you fine? Okay, I have this question because they are like person now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and when AGI can, comes, it's not going to harm us, right? When AGI can, comes uh okay i don't if you know agi what agi means artificial general intelligence yes so so that's the scary ai that we are lo looking for right so when So, so I just wrote this prompt. So I just said, uh, sorry, instructions, not instructions. Yeah, so I just want you to create a job description for the finance department by using the instructions I have provided below. So here I can just uh, shift enter and paste it here. But here I want um, to include, I want to include the key responsibilities. So let me just take this ones and go here and so so paste it here. So the job description, the job description should line key responsibilities such as budgeting, report, and highlight required qualification, including experience in yeah. So it's just the prompt that I'm using. So we have already provided this prompt. So when I press enter, it's going to create a good, uh, a good job description for a senior financial analysis. Yeah. So I didn't say hi, but. Uh, Hopefully, it won't, it won't take hold great against me. Yeah. I was just joking. I was just joking. It's okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Thank you, Paul. Um, so it's finished. So if you can see here, we are using the 4.0 model. We have the 4.0 mini, which is faster, and for everything else, but for the 4.0 is better um so yeah so after lo looking at this one uh let's say i didn't like um this part right so i don't want the location to be new york so i can just uh, uh let's say Uh, let's say I want not financial analysis, but uh, Yeah. Oh, I wrote, I want, yeah. But it's okay. So I will update uh, 
and give me a prompt. So you can just go to the specific uh, the specific section that you want to edit and just write the prompt for that one. So, uh, so make sure to just go through the job description one more time. And if you are comfortable with it, you can just uh, pass it along. Yeah, so uh, that's basically it for uh, using uh, AI for creating a job description. It's a simple and uh, station. So I hope everyone had uh, gotten the point or the whole idea of how to do it. So is it clear? Is everyone uh, happy with uh, the session? OK, it's Raven. Raven, I think, yeah. Um, OK, so is it clear, or are there any questions, guys? Uh, if you want, if you want, we can have a session uh, by using other, I believe, other AIs. Yes, Bernard. OK, thank you. Um, I just wonder, so uh, the interim assignment, what we are submitting is the job description, right? Yes. OK, for all the departments? Uh, yes, for the four departments, one description for each department. Department. OK, all right, thank you. Yeah, and make sure that it's in a folder. And we have, a, you have given us a, like, you have given us access to view your folder. Because I believe last uh, week's assignment, I believe uh, like half of the students didn't give us uh, access. So we'll be going through it and we will be writing on the Tenex platform to give us a uh, session. So make sure to just check your uh, your Tenex account for any messages or not notifications. <coughs> Sorry. Yes, uh, Adisanami. Adisanami. All right. Uh, yeah. uh, just on the job description, I I thought they, 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 they were, is it based, is it going to be based on the all the departments and the the, the, the ranking as in uh, positions there? Then there there are some CVs sub, uh, submitted as in given to us in the file. Are we going to uh, do the job description according to that as well? Um, uh, okay, good question. Uh, how, how do you pronounce your, your name? I'm sorry. Adisanmi. Okay, Adisanmi. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Adisanmi. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. the folder that we have provided is actually not for this task, for, uh, but it's for task two and okay. three. So, uh, don't worry. No, no, uh, for task three and four. So, for task one and Task two, you're not going to be uh, using the files that we have given you. So for task one and task two, you're just uh, for task one, you're just going to be creating job descriptions for the four departments, like I have done right now. So I have okay, just for the departments. For the four departments, yeah, for one for each. So for financial department, I have already created this one, and I'm gonna do the same thing for um, the IT department, the business de development department, the public relations department. So that's okay. going to be the work for the first task. And okay. so for the financial department, you are going to just uh, uh, copy and paste this one into a doc file and download it as a PDF file and put that in a folder. And uh, for the, the IT department, the same thing. For the business, the same thing. And, and for the, the public relations, the same thing. And you're going to give us the link for the, department, the folder. OK. So that's okay. task one. Yeah. Yes. So it's not related for with the, the data that we have provided. And for the tax, 
for task three, it's just creating the interview questions. Interview questions, okay. Okay. Yeah, just using AI to create interview questions. So you can just go here and take a look at how you're going to do it. We have already provided prompts for uh, how you can do it here. Uh, and yeah. Okay. Okay. Great. Excuse me, I just have a quick question. I wanted yes, to know please. if we need to, if we, we use uh, chat GPT to do all the work that we are supposed to do, what is the added value that a human to be backside and preparing an exam or doing something? What to, what is the need? What is the need of that? Why? What is the added value that the human being behind and at the moment yeah. that the machine is giving us everything? Yes, yes, that's a good question, a very good question. So, uh, so the human value is just there. Uh, so they are not perfect. So the basic answer w would be AI is not perfect. It's far from being perfect. So it makes very uh, silly mistakes here and there. So your job is, so we are trying to uh, uh, create Trainees who are comfortable with using AI and who are uh, going to be using AI in their jobs. So, uh, by when using, so I, I believe we're going to see it in the next week or the, next, the week after that. So, we're going to be looking at how we can uh, detect AI generated content. So, there's going to be a week where we're going to see how you can de detect ai generated content uh, how we can identify the problems with ai generated content and how we are going to be correcting them so uh, if you just copy and paste what ai ge ai generated for you everyone is going to know that you you have improved it or you haven't work, uh, done the, the work that you are so, uh, supposed to do so uh what you need to do is use ai in order to help you and increase your efficiency right so i just created the job de description here but i'm not just going to copy and paste it right so i'm going to re read through it i'm going to make some adjustments i'm going to uh, do some work on it and then i can do it but it's way better than uh, just uh, me working on it alone so it's just there to help me but it's not going to replace me so yeah okay uh, so isaac asked uh will we have a chat gpt account to do our work so we expect you to create a chat gpt account if you haven't already we can go through how you can create a new account but uh, basically yeah we expect you to create your own account for this one. And the free version is more than enough. So uh, you, you, you don't need to pay for uh, the premium account. And uh, David asked, uh, since all four uh, job description per departments are to be put in a single folder during the entry submission, should they all be in a PDF format or Google Sheet? No, they should be in a PDF format. Uh, we're not going to use Google Sheets here, or this, this week you're going to be uh, submitting the PDF format and uh, make sure that they have uh, namings. So for each department, yeah, they have names. Yeah. And put it in a single folder is okay. And Shirak, please, sir, when can I find the week to listen folder link? Uh, I believe it's link, uh, it's uh, pinned or bookmark on the week two uh let me just show you this one uh let me share my screen my slack screen uh, I think uh, you forgot your mic. 
uh, its own Addis Samani. Addis Anam. Sorry. Yeah, thank you. Addis Samani. Yeah. Yes, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, I will get you used it this time. So here you can see the pinned. Uh, so for every week, we're going to pin the calendar for that week and the folder, the Google Drive folder for that week. So you can just go to uh, the specific week that you want to access and go here. And you can see the Notion page, which includes uh, the here. Actually, it's the getting started board, but we will add the weekly schedule. So I think I'm going to just bookmark this one. Uh, but uh, let, let, let me just, so here is the weekly, the week two document. I don't know if you can, so I think you can see it. But yeah, you can access it that, that, that way. Is it clear? Uh, should track? Yes, I can I can't access it. It's requiring is requesting for access. Oh, uh, okay. Access. Okay. Yes. So it, in that case, uh, it might be your email. Did you use the email that you used to register with us? Make sure that the email is the same, because we only give access to the people who uh, with their emails. Chidrak, did you uh, hear me? Yes, yes, I heard you. Yeah, so is it the same email? M make sure that it's the same email. And if it is the same email that you use to, uh, to register with us, make sure to contact uh, the court manager. Yeah, OK. I hope that's clear. So are there any questions? OK, now I think we can do that. Let me just share. I think I'm going to need an email. Oh, I don't know why it's doing this. Yeah, okay. Um, so the question is how to cre create a ChatGPT account. So let me just log out from this account. So, so let me just share it. Start, start now. And when I am uh, asked to log in or sign up, Uh, guys, I'm sorry, I lost my connection there. Uh, let me just start sharing again. Yeah. 
So what I was just saying was I get I went to so you can't see my screen, right, guys? Okay. So what I was just saying was um, you go to the Chat GPT uh, site and click on Start Now. And here you click on Sign Up when it's uh, when it asks you uh, to log in or sign up. And here you can enter your email or you can just click on if you have a Google account, a Gmail account, you can just click on continue with Google and click on the account that you want to use. Since I have already have an account on all of this, I can't create one. But if you create it uh, by using your account, it will be already set. So then it will be, you, you can uh, log in and start uh, using them. Uh, so let me just log in. So this is actually the sign-in page. Yeah, so the sign-up page is just, uh, yeah, the same thing. So let me just log in with my account. And yeah, we have everything we need here. So if you haven't actually used uh, ChatGPT before, I want to, I would have advised you to explore some uh, GPTs. Here you can find some mini GPTs that you can use. So for, uh, for instance, let's say, I don't know if I, I'm gonna find one, but I'm gonna try. Job description. I don't think there's one, but yeah. So this uh, <laughs> this actually is going to help me write an effective job description that attracts top quality talent for you. So I can click on that and I can start chatting. I can re review the rating and so on and so on um, and start chatting with, with it. So it's going to give me a better uh, results theoretically. But even if you don't use this one, it's OK. But yeah. But uh, you think this is the paid version, right? No, 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 no. It's a free ver version. This is the free ver version, not the paid one. You can see it here. Uh, it's asking me to upgrade. So it's not the paid one. Yeah. Um, yeah, so is that clear, guys? Hello, is it clear? Is it not clear? Okay, just two. Okay, uh, if, okay, thank you. So if it's clear, I'm gonna end the recording. Is, do you have any questions? Anything that you want me to go through again? Okay. Okay, then let me just stop the recording.